Hello, I'm Ian Taylor from Ian Taylor Trekking. I've been on top of the world, I've been at the bottom of the world. Uh, I've experienced everything in the mountains. Um, I've been up Kilimanjaro 14 times and climbed all over the Himalayas. What we're offering is something unique. We're offering um, myself to come on guided trips, aiming to give people the, the highest rate of success. We're available six days a week um, for any of our clients' needs. We're on the other end of the phone, which is quite unique. It's when you pick up the phone, you're talking to me directly. So our key focus is on safety, on preparation, and we try and make sure all our clients have fitness regimes, are well up, well prepared before they take on the climb. And I know what it takes because I'm someone that doesn't acclimatize well to high altitude. I know I know the risks. I've, I've experienced most of the, the altitude sickness. So I know how to prepare people and I know how to get them um, successfully to the top. We've 98% success rate on this mountain and 100% on other mountains around the world. My week with Ian Taylor trekking on, on Killy was unreal. Um, the service and the quality um, was all there, and then just bringing in kind of the fun and the atmosphere and the challenge um, was a blast. Um, so everything was top notch, everything was state of the art. Um, you fully got that experience of the mountain. Thing. Um, I had a blast with Ian and a blast with his staff. It was almost like a hotel on the mountain. Um, the staff just really took care of us, they helped us, you know. Um, steady supply of water, steady supply of food, warmth. Uh, they are very just gracious and there to take care of us. So um, you always felt very uh, safe and comforted. It was a lot of fun to hang out with. I think really melded well with our group and uh, everyone just really enjoyed his company. Uh, always positive, always upbeat, just a good person to have on the trip. Just spending time with him, um, him sharing stories of his climb, things that have gone right in his past, things that have gone wrong, learning from all those different experiences. Uh, you just felt really prepared. You just knew that if any any little thing was going to go on, um, Ian was going to know the solution, that he was going to be able to help quickly, and that you had nothing to worry about. I felt extremely prepared going with Ian, and, and for the reason that he was there for you. Uh, leading up to the trip, the phone calls, the conference calls, the emails, the checklist, making sure that when you got to the mountain, those things weren't on your mind. You were just ready to experience the journey and experience the beauty and experience the trip. You know, I think climbing Kilimanjaro for the first time, uh, you, you realize actually how difficult it really is. Um, you see other people who, who um, uh, thought they could do it in less days or pushing too hard and it's really struggling. Even that last night that we were making the final push, about half the people that night didn't make it. Um, I never at one point questioned whether we'd make it or not because I felt that Ian was doing it the right way. We were pacing ourselves, he was making sure that we were staying hydrated, uh, eating right, sleeping well. Um, he was making sure that everything was how it was supposed to be to, to give us the best chance of, uh, of summiting. And uh, his experience and his friendship were, were uh, uh, priceless hope that people will come and climb and trek around the world with us and raise money for, for worthy causes and worthy charities and, and even get behind what I'm doing with uh, being an ambassador for the charity Fields of Life.